Hello everyone. In this presentation, I will report the current progress of my Mitex internship, which is, is focused on dialyzer modeling for computer fluid dynamics analysis. My name is Chen Jin, and I'm a temporary member of PN3 laboratory, which is supervised by Dr. Sanjay Kark. And here is an overview of this presentation. As this project is related to dialysers, so firstly, I will give an introduction of the mechanism of its functional components, which is the hollow fiber module. After that, I will show you my current progress from building details to current milestones, which is the visualization. Because this is an ongoing project, so a development roadmap will be given at last. To begin with, in order to conduct a computational fluid dynamic analysis with the dialysers, we should know the mechanism of them. In general, dialysers are often used in hemodialysis. It is the most inexpensive and effective therapy to remove toxins from the blood for those who are suffered from kidney diseases. Here is an actual figure of the dialyzer. The goal of this project is to construct an effective mathematical module governing the substance transfer between the dialyzer and the blood by using computational fluid dynamic analysis. So before all the mathematical things happen, we need a dialyzer model for analysis. The very first thing is to build a grid or 3D array for a functional component of the dialyzer which is the hollow fiber module. And this figure is the abstraction of hollow fiber module. Just as I was saying, the red arrow depicts the flow of the blood. Besides, the dialyzer salute passes along the blue arrow direction. For the 3D array formation, what we interested is in the hollow fiber module. Here is a schematic diagram of the hollow fiber module. From here on, we denoted this outside cylinder with a larger diameter as the term shell, and this inside multiple cylinder-shaped parts as the term tubes. With the data referred from the thesis at the bottom of this slide, we constructed a 3D array whose specifications are shown here. For shell length, it is 270 mm. For shell radius, it is 20 mm. For tube radius, it is 0.2 mm. For tube numbers, they are 25. That is to make things easier to analyze. And we will add to the actual circumstance in later research. And as you can see, the actual size of the array is a match with the hollow fiber module. That is for the reserved for the buffer size. We actually reserve 30 millimeter as so-called buffer size for future modifications. And all the array generation codes are completed in MATLAB languages. As for implementations, the 3D array has 0.2 gaps for all the coordinates. That is to say, the actual array size is 350 by 350 by 1500. For visualizations, there are three possible states for the elements in the array. We number them from states 0, 1, and 2, 2. State zero is the elements that are not covered by the shell. And state one is the elements covered by the shell but outside the tubes. And finally, state two is the elements inside the tubes. Just as this figure demonstrates. Subsequently, we convert the .mat file into .vtk file. This is a format that can be read by visualization softwares like Paraview and Simvascular. As for this, we use a third-party library that is called Math2VTK, which can be obtained in the MathWorks 
file exchange of your website. And for the visualization, it depicts as follows figures. As you can see, the visualization accurately meets with our design. And that's the progress I've made in the past two weeks. The progress I've made is just the fundamentals of this research. Still, there is a long way to go. Initially, this man-made array should be segmented in SimVascular software to create a match for finite element analysis. And moving on, we are going to modify the governing equations and boundary conditions in this circumstance in order to obtain a better mathematical model. And the next thing is using the software like Cosmo to do the computer flooded dynamic simulation to validate or test our model, like this image. All in all, here comes the summary of this presentation. In this presentation, I introduced the mechanism of the hollow fiber units of the dialysers and talked about the generation methods of the 3D array used for analysis. Finally, I discussed the future work of this research. If you have any questions, please contact me via email. Also, if you need any additional information about me, please visit my personal academic homepage. Thank you for listening. That's all.